Have you ever thought about starting a, a business or a side hustle because you need some money, but you don't know what's popping and what's stopping? <laughs> I mean, you want to know how to turn your job experience into cash with little or no experience. Child, you want to keep watching because we about to get into it, honey. Yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. If this is your first time meeting me, Hello, my name is Jackie D. McKeever, and on this channel, it's all about empowering your life and your business with your pen. That means, okay, that means we talk about faith, finances, books, and business, because the goal is to provide you more in your life, and we do that through planning and activating plans okay so let's get into this questions y'all for those of you who have uh, been here y'all know how we do and if you have not subscribed baby i don't know what's going on you need to go ahead and hit the subscribe button because y'all each week i'm dropping nuggets because that's my goal on my channel is to empower your life and your business with your pen. Okay, so let's answer this question. How to turn your job experience into cash. Okay, now these, like I said, you can have a little experience. Some of it you may not have any experience, but you don't know until you know. So let me give you these five steps to find it, just using your old job experience. Okay, so the first step you need to do is create a life plan. Now, you may be saying, Jackie, what's a life plan? A life plan helps you establish or create your business plan. It helps you create your, um, your any type of plan, whether you want to call it a high, uh, side hustle or a uh, just a regular small base product business, service business, online business, your life plan. If you create a life plan, you you it allows you to have a vision to uh, set your business up appropriately because we do these things so that we can have not only impact the people we are called to touch, agree, and help, but also so we can have uh, an, a positive outpouring in our life, but you have to know where you want your life to be, right? So a life plan is important that you create a life plan so you'll know, okay, what is it that I want for my life specifically, right? And that way you can plan accordingly. So if you don't know, if you would like more information, I will have the life plan information follow this video. I may have posted up here or up here or somewhere. It'll definitely be in the description and follow this video. So you want to make sure that you not only write down these steps, that you follow the videos that follows this one, okay? So that you can get all the steps, okay? I'm keeping this video short so that we can get these five steps. So number one is a life plan. Um, number two is you want to make a list of all your old jobs, your old job titles, and what you think you did, okay? Because <laughs> listen, y'all, I am Generation X. If I went back to my first job, like I remember my first job, my first job, if I would have kept, if I would have created me a life plan and had that together, my my first job, I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? So I was hustling back then, you know, um, because I got my revenue down to uh, 95% and it, it wasn't easy, you know, profit, you know, uh, from, I was making hand over fist, hand over fist, money hand over fist. I'm not saying that I made enough to retire because if I would have stayed motivated. But anyway, that was yesterday. This is today. You want to 
list all your old jobs, all your old job titles, what you think you did. Like, for example, I used to work at Wendy's, okay? Used to work at Wendy's. So what are some things that I did? Um, I spent a brief time, not that long, um, training people. Okay, write that down. Um, I made burgers, ran the cash register, whatever I learned or whatever I thought I did, write that down. That's important. Okay, so number one is a life plan. Number two is you want to list your do jobs. So the reason why you want to list your job titles and what you think you did is because uh, sometimes what your job title is, is not what actually you did. You did Because a lot of the experiences that I gained in my career was not directly associated with the title. Okay, so for instance, I had a job uh, title. It was called Supervisory Environmental Care Specialist, right? So you think of that and you're like, okay, did you work in sanitation? Did you do this? Did you do that? What, 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 that, what is that? Um, so you may not find a listing with that specific title, but if you write down what you actually did, this will help you do number three. You'll be able to Google jobs, okay? Because we're using this to help turn your job experience into cash, okay? Because I, I, because in that position, I actually did, like, if you look at the things that I actually did, you would think I was the chief of the department, because I did a lot of work. I did a lot of work of his secretary. I did a lot of his work, a lot of the assistant chief work. I did, um, I worked like I was an executive. And I was, at the time, I was the third um, person in the hierarchy. But I did some, of, almost some of everything. I, and I trained and I, I just did a lot, okay? So my, I always describe my experiences as being unique, right? And I just believe one of the reasons, like, while I was learning those things and doing those things, I could get frustrated. But later on, after uh, my career had started advancing, I was appreciative of those skills because those many assignments that I learned to do, I was actually able to pull from those into my more advanced career. Okay, because situations kept coming up and I knew how to act because I had that job experience from the past. So the third step, you want to Google the job titles and the things that you actually did, right? So once you Google, so number one is a life plan. Number two, list of all the jobs you've done and the, which is the job titles and what you actually did. Number three, you want to Google those jobs. So let's say, for example, I used to write job descriptions. Now, if you looked at my previous um, job description, it did not have to create job description in the in anywhere, right? But this is one of the things that I did. Um, so if I Google um, create job descriptions, if you Google that, you may find things for HR, you know, or you may find something for managing, managerial. So number one, life plan. Number two, list your old jobs and what you did. Number three, you want to Google, take those titles. Or, and those job listings, and you put them in Google and you put jobs. Okay, so the fourth step, you're going, what are you going to do with that list is you're going to review job requirements and job descriptions. Once you review job titles, requirements, and job descriptions for four, then number five, you want to create a client attraction plan, right? Be and the reason why you did one through five is 
once you have the job description, if you know there is a job, number one, this is why it's valuable. It's valuable because if you can go to a job site and you see the that companies are searching for people that are doing these jobs, you know that you can make cash doing that job, okay? You can make cash. If you went through the job description, the job requirements, then this is a need. This is displaying a need, right? So this is why number five, you want to create a client attraction plan. So all you go through all those five steps in order to turn your experience because you're using your experience, whether they're little or almost none experience into a package, okay, to attract clients. So if you want to know how to the next step, because I'm trying to keep this video uh, short and attracting client because you desire to make some cash, some revenue for your business, your side hustle, or just your general life period, baby. What you want to do is you want to go to the description and you want to sign up for the my free client attraction class. In that link, it will take, you'll get direct access to a video, a client attraction uh, video to give you training. I'm also at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you more about the client attraction class. So you want to watch this video at the end, to the end. And you also want to make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. So those are five ways to turn your job experience into cash with a little experience. So they are number one, life plan. Number two, list your old jobs. Number three, Google those jobs. Number four, review job requirements and job description. And number five, create a client attraction plan.